Star Wars novel heir to the Empire, the Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker has a conversation with Mara Jade, who was the previous Hand of the Emperor himself. As the Hand to the Emperor, Mara was tasked with locating Jedi for Darth Vader to hunt down and eliminate after Order 66 and during the Great Jedi Purge, and on some occasions when Vader was unavailable, executing them personally. Mara was also the personal assassin and bodyguard to the Emperor, and although she was not his only Imperial Hand, she was his favorite and most trusted. However, the reign of the Emperor and his empire was not eternal, and he was eventually defeated by Luke Skywalker and the redeemed Anakin Skywalker. After meeting Luke Skywalker and turning to the light side of the Force, Luke asked Mara about his father Darth Vader, but more than this, he asked her about the Emperor who his father served for over two decades. During their conversation, Mara brought up the destruction of the first Death Star and explained how furious that the Emperor became after the loss at the hands of the Rebellion, and revealed that the Emperor tortured Darth Vader with Force Lightning for his failures at that time. Mara also explained that Palpatine took Vader's right hand as punishment, and that this is how Vader lost that hand. However, this book was written before the release of Attack of the Clones, meaning this loss of Vader's hand was later retconned for the film. Mara speaks as if she witnessed the events of Vader's torture with her own eyes, and although it was later explained that there were many rumors that it was Palpatine that reconstructed Vader into some sort of monster, similar to the way General Grievous was constructed by Dooku to kill Jedi. The rumors explained that the Emperor removed Vader's arms and legs over time, in an effort to make him a more powerful tool for the Sith and the Empire. Based on the rumors, Vader's change into a cyborg was a gradual one, and was not a result of injuries that he obtained by a Jedi Knight, Obi-Wan Kenobi. This does not mean, however, that the torture of Darth Vader did not occur in Legends, as Mara Jade claimed to have seen it. This was Mara Jade's complete description of Vader's torture. I don't imagine that the Emperor was pleased, Luke murmured. No, he wasn't, Mara said, her voice dark with memories of her own. Darth Vader nearly died for that blunder. Deliberately, she looked over at Luke's hands. That was when he lost, his right hand in fact. It is interesting here that Mara Jade states that Darth Vader was nearly killed. The leading theory here is that Mara was utilizing a figure of speech concerning his hands, and that Palpatine used force lightning to torture Vader to the point where all of his limbs shut down, and he was trapped within his suit until given aid by his tormentor. Mara stating that Vader lost his right hand could have been more figurative, and meant that after that day, the Emperor was not as trusting of Darth Vader as he was previously. This event though is still very unique, as despite popular belief, Palpatine did not often torture or use force lightning on Vader, as he seemed to have more respect towards him rather than the likes of Dooku, who was tortured several times by his master's hand, and torturing Darth Maul seemed to be a favorite pastime of Darth Sidious in his earlier years. Still though, for the destruction of the first Death Star, he nearly killed his apprentice Darth Vader in a fit of rage. It is possible though that Palpatine may have actually cut Vader's right glove from his wrist as punishment, and further humiliation for his failure as we witnessed in Return of the Jedi when Luke striked Vader's glove, it actually caused him pain. For me, Palpatine cutting Vader's right cybernetic glove off with the lightsaber and then nearly killing him with force lightning is the leading theory. This event may also have been used as a fear tactic by the Emperor for Mara Jade, by showing her the lengths that he would go to after one of his servants failed him. But what are your thoughts and theories on this, and the legend's reaction of Palpatine towards Darth Vader's mistake, and the fact that he failed to prevent the destruction of the first Death Star? as well as Mara's supposed mistake concerning the description she gave to Luke Skywalker about the torture that occurred. I would love to hear your theories on the in-universe explanation as to why Mara may have been mistaken. As stated earlier, this was because the out-of-universe reasoning is because Attack of the Clones retconned the way Anakin and therefore Vader lost his arm. But again, I would love to hear your in-universe theories and explanations. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed and want to help the channel out, be sure to hit the like button. If you would like to see more Star Wars explanation videos and stay up to date with all the Star Wars news from The Last Jedi to Star Wars Rebels, hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure to turn on notifications to see everything as soon as it comes out and to make sure that you become a living holocron today. If you would like to get in direct contact with me, follow me on Twitter where we discuss all things Star Wars and debate with one another on the various topics concerning the universe. If you have any video ideas you want to see explored, leave them in the comments below the video with hashtag suggestion at the end of your comment so I can find it better. If you do end up leaving a suggestion, I really appreciate it and hope to one day make a full video dedicated to your question or suggested topic. Thanks again just for simply watching the video and your continued support on this Star Wars journey. May the Force be with you and have a great day.